Yo, what's good with y'all family? How y'all doing? This is Mari Matthews, owner and operator of Minutes Tale Dawn Productions. And today we are going to be discussing presidential nominee Joe Biden and his recent comments concerning the African American community. Uh, a lot of people have been, you know, giving him that side eye because he said what he said. But what we're going to do is play this quick clip. Uh, it's not actually going to be a video clip, but it's going to actually be audio. And uh, after he says what he says, we're going to jump into it. I, um, I, I have a, a few questions that I'd, I'd just like to get through because they are incredibly important to the Latino community. First of all, you are extending TPS, Temporary, temporary Protected Status, to Venezuelans. Um, Cubans, though, are now being uh, deported in unprecedented numbers. Would you stop those deportations? What I said, I'm going to look at the entire temporary, I'm going to look at every single country in the, in the world that in fact is being, and this guy's sending them back. The reason why it came up with Venezuela is he's not even allowing it to exist in the first place. And so the TPS program is something I will, I will move on the first day I'm in office to make sure that we extend it to people. We know, we know, we look too, you know, for too long, uh, you know, we, we didn't get it right. But here's the deal. I think that we should be extending it. Anybody can prove that they are in jeopardy to go back to their country and the reason they came in the first place, they should be able to stay in the United States of America until the circumstance changes in their country. And that's why, by the way, I put that program together to provide. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. So, quick side note. Quick side note, right quick. Joe Biden, like, okay, look. Everybody stutters. Everybody has, you know, little speech inflictions and things of that nature. You know, and accents one way or another. You see what I'm saying? But I was just looking at his mannerisms and, and his facial expressions while he's while he talking. I ain't gonna lie to you. He, 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 it seems like he, he getting a little see now. I'm just gonna, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You feel me? He, he looks, looks like he's getting there. Okay, if not already, I'm just saying. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. No, no. Are, are you going to re-engage with Cuba, though? I mean, I'm, I'm specifically wondering about, you know, the Florida yes. communities that are, in, in, you know, yes. incredibly interested in, in the Cuba issue um, and see yes. uh, status given to Venezuelans while Cubans are being deported. The answer so, are, is will you yes. With I'm going to engage. Yes. Yes. And by the way, what you all know, but most people don't know. Unlike the African American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. You go to Florida, you find a very different attitude about immigration in certain places than you do in your, when you're in Arizona. So it's a very different, a very diverse community. All right. So that was presidential nominee Joe Biden on a Democratic ticket. African Americans, with a notable exception, the like unlike the com Latino community, is incredibly diverse. Latinos are incredibly diverse as compared to African Americans. Now, a lot of people, you know, and, and bef you know, before anybody coming here talking about, you know, oh my goodness, he taking it out of context. No, bro, I just showed the whole video right there in context. So don't come over here with that, that you know, that boo boo, man. Hey, hey, shout out to my Ados fan, by the way, because we about to get into some bars. All right, first and foremost, the diversity he might be referring to in the Latino community. Um. He might be referring to voting patterns, okay? Now, from what the numbers show in a lot of different exit polls in, in the past couple of elections or so, a lot of Latinos actually lean lean right. They're, like, it's almost even, left or right. You feel me? So, when it comes to diversity, you know, he, he might be mentioning voting patterns. He might be mentioning all these cultural different aspects of of Latino, you know, Latino groups and immigrants, which is true. However, to say that black people in the U.S., because when he refers to African-American, okay, 
see that's the that's this is the reason why the ADOS movement is so against the flattening of blackness. And when we say the flattening of blackness, we mean that you know certain groups of black people within the sort of black spectrum have very diverse histories, diverse cultures, diverse norms, societal norms, all that good stuff. It all depends on their heritage, where they come from, their lineage in the U.S. and other places, okay? So, to a person who actually knows this, you can actually tell there's such diversity. Hell, even in the ADOS lineage, there is diversity, okay? Regionally, there are diverse things that people do, you know, who are ADOS on a, in New York as compared to how, what people do that, who are ADOS in L.A. And, you know, you could point to any region in the U.S. Now, yes, we all have our commonalities. First and foremost, we are ADOS, American descendants of slavery, black American descendants of slavery. However, to say that we are not diverse... And that's kind of, you know, that, that's that's some racist, that's some racist stuff, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know, old habits die hard. Old habits die hard, indeed. You feel me? You know, it, it's it's very very telling that uh, ever since the dawn of the Ados movement and the flattening of blackness has been sort of revealed. You feel me? Uh, within the predominant culture, within, you know, Western society, you know, more specifically in American society. This sort of flattening of blackness erases history, erases cultural aspects, erases people's identity. And that is the problem. That is the key problem when it comes to people's modern day interpretation of what blackness is and that's the issue that's why the ados movement is very 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 good in its current inception okay it spe specifies the ados lineage as compared to other black people it's not about demonizing other black people it is about bringing back a sense of understanding a sense of clarity a sense of specificity that makes sure that black american descendants of slavery are accurately represented in our current state in america and to make sure that what is owed to us is paid to us. This is Mario Matthews, owner and operator of Minutes Till Dawn Productions. Family, if you have not done it yet, the GoFundMe campaign for Hurricane America is up and running. Hurricane America is a new novel being released by myself and my grandmother, we are telling the authentic ADOS story of Hurricane Katrina in 2005 from my experience and from my grandmother's experience. This is based on a true story from us, and we hope to tell the stories of ADOS people that will ring true through centuries ahead. We really feel as if this book is going to be history in the making. It's a long time coming. And we hope to tell our story. Please, if you like to contribute to our GoFundMe campaign, the link will be in the description. We really appreciate all the love, all the support from the ADOS fam and everyone in between, allies, everybody. We hope to bring this book to, to everyone. So with that being said, thank y'all for watching the video. Please share, please like, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to y'all on the next one. Y'all be cool, fam. Peace.